Hi, Beth Pratt here with the Save LA Cougars campaign, and we have an exciting update about the construction on the Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing. We are about to hit a big milestone in the building of this bridge. It is going to involve for the first time, however, closure of half of the freeway in the middle of the night. I know you think it's worth it because it's going to help save P-22's mountain lion relatives and help provide a future for all wildlife in the Santa Monica Mountains. I'm not gonna give you the details though. I want you to meet the amazing team at Caltrans who has worked behind the scenes to make this visionary crossing a reality. So let's check in with the team to learn more about closure for cougars. Right now, we're just about halfway done with the construction project, and we've completed all the uh, cast-in-place structures that would be supporting our next critical milestone, which would be erecting the girders across the freeway. The girders are such a huge milestone. The public's really gonna just kind of feel like the mass of the bridge is there. And then directly above it, that finishing course, is intended to kind of mimic a naturally occurring landscape. So what we're gonna see in the coming couple of months here is we're gonna see first we'll be placing precast box girders. And right now we're envisioning the closures to be somewhere from around midnight every night, opening every morning, sometime around five or six in the morning. Um, and it depends on which day of the week. We have a very convenient detour set up that is uh, less than two and a half miles for either direction. Uh, when we're and closing the northbound side, we divert traffic off onto Liberty Canyon, head them up to Agoura Road, cut across to Palacamado, and they continue on their way in less than two and a half miles, and similarly on the southbound direction. Fortunately, the public, by and large, is thrilled by this project, and they've expressed a lot of interest in it because they love, as we do, the idea of helping wildlife to thrive in Southern California. People love it, and they love to know things like, we've already poured more than a thousand tons of concrete in what's been built so far, because every girder weighs more than 140 tons. That's equivalent to about 14 African elephants. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 82 of them. So just to be clear, that means that we can take that many of them across the structure that Precisely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 82 times. 14 African elephants. They have to come in a certain direction so that they can lift them off correctly, then they'll twist them into place and set them back down on these temporary supports. So when those temporary supports come up, you know they're getting closer to getting the girders put up. Sure. So, so that's an indication, anybody who goes out there, you see these wood posts with the cross bracing. And then once we've got all the girders in place, we'll pour a slab of concrete all the way across and then we'll start building some barriers and sound walls for the wildlife crossing. And then they can come in and start placing the, the rocks and the soils and eventually the plant life. It gets me excited because what we see on paper is nothing compared to when you see it. And even driving through that, it looks really, really good. Yeah, when the girders start going up, yeah. people will start, that would be a huge visual people will notice. Coming down over that crest and how the, that view opens up, even at night, and you see the shadow of the structure there. Like it just gives me chills every single time. Well, I mean, and there's no, there's no absence of wildlife out there. I mean, well, there's uh, a lot of wildlife out there. We've gone out there and there were like a coast horn lizard, which is a species of concern. And it was like right on the shoulder of the freeway, like right oh, wow. by the pavement. And we had to go ahead and um, relocate it. So there's, there's a lot of wildlife out there. We've seen roadrunners. There's deer, obviously, that we've seen. We're connecting biological communities. And, you know, that's part of Caltrans' plan, connecting wildlife corridors. So we're creating more biodiversity in the area for all species. And I think the public will appreciate that because once those species are gone, what's left? I call this the world's most hopeful construction site. And I'm in front of school children a lot. This project has really fired the imagination of kids. And their imaginations will start from this point and soar somewhere that we can't even really conceive of at this point. And I think that's a magical legacy of the work of all these people. Yes, this is uh, so unique and obviously this is the largest uh, wildlife crossing in the world, right? Uh, I have to say that 
you actually have a very, very good team that are actually working on this project. Everybody is knowledgeable about this project and dedicated about this project. And someday we'll say that we worked on this project. We're not just creating a, a structure or a landscape, we're creating homes for other species. I don't think they'll fully absorb it until they see it, probably from when they're coming through their hikes or the Simi Hills, and they see that like kind of far vantage, and they won't be able to tell where the embankment, natural embankments end and the bridge begins. I think that's when it's gonna become really fun. We're inviting everyone to contact Caltrans to be added to the mailing list. I respond and I send these email updates because this is an important project and we want as many people as possible to know about it. It's a great project, it's a historic project and we're so thrilled to be a part of it.